Welcome back to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'm gonna be putting in a 870 Evo into this MacBook Pro 2011 13 inch. And what I'll be using is a little dongle for putting in your Evo and cloning the hard drive. So you don't have to swap files over or anything. It's just a full clone, very easy, nice and simple, using EaseUS Backup. So we're basically cloning a hard drive onto an SSD. So this will copy all of your files and your operating system, and it will be bootable on your SSD and your computer will become way faster. So the first step to do is go to google.com and we're gonna type in ease US backup Mac. So let's click enter and let's go to the first link at the top. We're gonna try out the free trial right here, and this will work for what we're cloning. So don't worry about the price or anything. We're just gonna try out the free trial, which works completely. So we can uninstall it after we're done. So click on free trial. Click allow. We'll start downloading at the top here. We're gonna click the download button here. We're gonna double click the mactbtrial.dmg. It's gonna be opening. And we're just gonna drag EaseUS to do backup into the applications folder. So now it's copying. Just like that, it'll be installed. So we're gonna go down to Finder, close out of that. We can either right click Finder, New Finder Window, or we can simply search with Command Space. So we can go into applications here and we can find Easy US Backup. It's just in the middle here. Right here, or we can open our keyboard and we can click on Command Space and then type in Ease US to do, and we can actually just launch it from here. So this is an app download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Just say open. You're just gonna click on the bottom here, Ease US to do backup. And we're not gonna check for updates right now. So I'll just say don't check. This might take a little while. We're just gonna click on it here. And it just tells us that the backup runs in evaluation mode. You have 30 days left. Let's just click continue and EUS would like to control this computer using accessibility features. So we're just gonna quickly do that now just so it has more permissions when cloning the drive. So let's open system preferences. We can scroll down here, click the lock button, enter your passcode and click on EasyUS here, and we can just lock that back up again. And we can close that. And here is our backup. So from here, we can go on to clone, and we can actually plug in the Samsung 870 Evo drive. And this is the one terabyte. So we're just gonna plug this bad boy in. 
the light will turn on and it's reading it. You want to use the 87 Evo to back up your time machine. Um, I'll say uh, decide later. So from clone, we'll click on the plus icon here. So after clicking clone plus icon, we'll just name it something. We'll just say untitled, sure. Okay. And we can just say the name. That's fine. Just say, okay, this is everything looks good to me. We can select a source, which is from the uh, Macintosh HD, and I've used quite a bit of it already. So we click there. We select a destination, which is the Evo 870 terabyte. And EasyOS would like to access the file on the removable volume. So we click OK. And the clone will be bootable. Um, and this should work for you. Um, I've already kind of looked into it and everything looks good. So you just click the play button and this will take many, many hours depending on how much space you have on your drive. And since it will be coming from an older hard drive because you're gonna be switching to an SSD, it will take quite a bit of time especially the 2011 only has a USB 2.0 port, where the 2012 has a USB 3.0 port. So it might be slower there as well. But after cloning, the boot drive will be done and you can plug it in. So we'll click play and we'll let this run through and this will take quite a long time. So just be patient with it. Um, after it's all done and complete, you can uninstall this program, but it won't matter too much because you're just cloning it. Or if you don't want to have it on your computer anymore, you can just uninstall it. So after that's done, we can close the clone drive, eject the 870 Evo. We can go into applications and we can just drag that into the recycling bin just to uninstall it. So let's just empty trash, empty trash, and that's uninstalled. So let's go on to opening up the computer and installing the new SSD drive, which is now bootable with the clone. So Mac OS Sierra will be working on the SSD now. So we'll cut to that. So now that we've cloned, the Samsung solid state drive 870 Evo, we can now put it inside of your MacBook Pro. And this works 2012 and lower. So 2011, 2010, 2009, it's all kind of the same deal. Um, but just depending on software and things, you just need to still install EasyOS backup, etc. So we have the drive here and you will need a little toolkit where you can buy anywhere in any Home Depot or department store. And this actually just has the full set of tools. So we will need to use the PH1 and I'll link this in the description down below. Um, and you will need the T6 just to get, take off the hard drive uh, brackets to hold the hard drive in place. So we'll take the PH1 here and we'll take the handy little driver, screwdriver, close that up and it's just a little magnet. So just like that and we can start unscrewing, but just make sure this has a nice little lid so we can actually put the screws inside of the lid. So everything works perfectly. So let's just start unscrewing. And I like to actually have the MacBook on the opposite side, just so I remember that these three screws are longer. So the top of the hinge, these top three screws here are longer. So just make sure that you know where to put these bad boys. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. Some are slightly bigger and slightly smaller. So you just have to kind of screw it in and it feels right, then this will just go in. 
So let's just start taking the back panel off now. So we have taken all the screws off. And another thing to note, you might want to put down a nice little towel or microfiber, just so you don't scratch the back or the uh, display. So let's just pop it off here. Comes off very, very easily. Let's just set that aside. And you might want to actually use a vacuum just to clean it up a bit. Um, there's a bit of dust and stuff, so you can wipe that down. Um, I just kind of slightly used it just to make sure that there's no like extra dust particles and a little bit in the fan. So from the bottom left here, you have the hard drive. You'll have two screws, which is the same screws as the back panel here. So what we want to do is take these two screws off and they actually stay in place so you don't have to put them anywhere. So we're just going to lift this up and we're just going to place it just above. So we're just going to pull up and there's actually a connection that we need to unplug. But just be careful, it's a little fragile, but you can just slip it off here. So I'm just going to pop it kind of with my fingernail a bit and it just comes off just like that. So this is the old hard drive and yeah, we can just kind of put this one aside. And this is the new hard drive here. So what we'll actually see is that we'll need to actually screw in the screws here, just so it's snug. So we'll take the old hard drive and we'll take out these tiny screws. So let's put that up there. So we'll go and take the T6 and we'll exchange it for the PH1. So we'll put this in and we'll start unscrewing. So we'll just put this off to the side here, put that in there. And just like that, they're all removed. So we'll put this one off to the side and we'll take the new SSD and we're gonna screw in those screws. And you can kind of do two ways here. You can kind of straight on just kind of put them in. I like to almost like hand tight them just to make sure that the threads are okay. So I just kind of like put them on, just kind of thumb tight, hand tight as they say, or finger tight. So they're really easy to just kind of like pinch in. So I just kind of put them in and then I'll tighten them after. So I've kind of just kind of put them in there. So now I can start tightening them. So now I can just quickly tighten every single one. And it's not too tight. It's just pretty much just stops just like that. So that's perfect. Just like that, put that there. And now we've got the Samsung solid state drive 870 Evo. So now we can plug it in. So we we'll want this side here to the left and we're just gonna be careful with the cable here, but this, you just plug it in here. And just be careful with that. And now we're just gonna put it in bottom first. So these two pieces go into those holes and they will rest on those little orange pieces there, there and there. And I noticed this before I took it out but there's a little plug here might actually uh, become loose and the dust might go in. So I just made sure to fasten that little plug. But let's just put this in to the bottom holes here. Just like that. And this will sit just snug, just like that. So these are actually in all those holes here. And we'll take this little piece, we'll put it back. We'll take the T6 out. We'll grab the PH1, which is a regular Phillips, small Phillips, and let's just screw these guys in. So we're just screwing these two screws.
and it doesn't have to be too tight. It's pretty much stops at a certain level, but this thing is not going anywhere. This is really snug in there and everything else about it is great. And maybe in another video or another tutorial, I can actually just show you how to replace the RAM sticks, which is just easy. You just pinch those out, pop them out, and you can upgrade the RAM as well. But for now, I'm just doing the SSD, and you can take out the, uh, the actual CD drive and put in another hard drive, which is really sweet. And this is all SATA 3, so really fast connections and very much compatible with the 870 EVO. A 2011 device shouldn't die and you shouldn't have to spend more than about 75 bucks on sale Canadian for this bad boy here. So we can then take the lid right here and put it back on. So top of the lid here, just like that. And we can start putting in the screws. So pretty simple, but going to take the, the three long ones. Let's just put those back in here. Just like that. And let's just start tightening them, them all. So all the screws are done and your laptop's ready to go. And you can kind of do anything with this old hard drive. You can put in another laptop or anything, but it will be Mac, so you have to, might have to format it. So just like that, put back the toolkit, close her up, and your MacBook is good to go. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.